What we have here is a Minolta X700. Uh, this was given to me by my uncle for Christmas. Uh, really great camera. Um, the issue with this particular Minolta is the battery door has gotten chewed up over the years of being taken in and out and it's now stuck also I, I think it's probably stuck because of corrosion a lot of times the batteries will corrode and they kind of like block the, the mechanism from twisting um, so you should always be using a nickel anytime you open a compartment like this up battery compartment so the nickel just fits beautifully down in there um, you can see on this one the soft metal has kind of you know twisted out many times someone's tried to do that they've probably been using like a quarter or, you know not the correct tool um, so the problem is is like no matter how much pressure I put on the nickel it just doesn't turn free so we're gonna have to remove the bottom plate completely and then address the issue with the why that's stuck so firmly on there I, I believe it's because of um, battery corrosion but you know we'll see it could be something else um, tools I'm gonna be using you know standard screwdriver set uh, the nickels really not needed anymore you have a syringe because I'm eventually going to need to break up that corrosion um, peroxide I find works pretty decent for it uh, if peroxide doesn't we'll do denatured alcohol um, you know, they're two solvents, well, denatured alcohol is a solvent, that works pretty well at breaking stuff like that down, so let's, uh, get going here and see what we get. Well, and that did not fix my problem, but you can see this blue stuff on the inside is teal. That's all corrosion from the battery compartment. Um, here you can see it's built up all on the inside here too. So next we'll do this plate here. Pull this off and maybe that will get the battery compartment up out of here. Now there is a very stuck screw. As you turn the driver, I can feel the head kind of twist a little bit and that's a little unsettling. Try a slightly bigger bit. Slightly larger Phillips head, maybe it'll get us more contact with the actual screw. Yeah, got a little bit of rotation out of it. It's just not an easy one to take out. And this one comes out no problem.
But you can see there's some there's some corrosion underneath there. Doesn't look like Loctite. Looks more like corrosion to me. Could be wrong though. see the leads that run to the circuit board from the battery compartment um, so all those screws out and I've still got this because all this is in place so I think we'll remove this screw it should be able to get us into here get this out doesn't feel right. feels like there's something else that needs to come apart. It feels like it's over in here somewhere. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Well, while I'm down to here, I can at least see this a little better, a little cleaner, so I'll know when I'm putting my solutions on there to try and loosen it up whether or not I'm getting into anything. Um, I guess another option I, I have is to drill little holes into this to be able to engage it with a different tool. Um, gonna run these screws back in. And we're going to try that. Put the troublemaker back in. It almost feels more like it was cross threaded just ever so slightly, or the threads weren't drilled out correct, more than corrosion because. Just the way it just goes in just feels weird. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is try and get some peroxide on it and see if that helps loosen it up or not. Don't need to use a ton, just need to get a little bit in there. Let's see if we can see it start to soak down in. did anything but you know 
Give him a shot. Mm-mm. Well, you can feel it right away, the nickel just twists. Let's do some more. gonna work. There's so much movement of the nickel without actually grabbing the door. Um, so I kind of had a feeling it was gonna come down to this and it's not something I really want to do but I think it's going to be really <laughs> the only way. Um, so, drill two holes in the plate, one here, one here, which will then allow me to use this to get down in there and rotate. I know, we'll hopefully, not screw this door up, but um, if I do. Maybe I'll be able to find a, a parts camera for it to replace it, or maybe I'll figure out something else. Either way, the camera doesn't operate now without a battery, so the camera's really no good sitting in the state it is. So let's um, see if we can't fix it or break it. Usually they, they break. <laughs> it's rare that a journey ends with a fixed camera. Shavings are falling the way I want them to, but I'm just watching them drop. I'm just like, I should have, I should have put the plate back on. I should have done something. So what I'm going to do actually is tape the bottom up. So that way nothing gets through. Um, Cause I don't really want any bits, metal shavings falling down inside here. Cause that could just spell doom. some progress it's slow and steady
what's wrong Something isn't right I feel I belong in the light Alright There's one. Things just feel heavy tonight. I'm tasting no tears, not fighting no fears, but still there's a hole in my heart. Clean up all my metal shavings. And let's give it a go. Popped right out. This other lens spanner shot. I'm not, like I said, I'm not a big fan of this one. But it might be worth a shot. Oh, there it was. Something broke free anyway. I'm not sure if it was what I wanted or not. <laughs> this whole time. <laughs> oh, I'm such an idiot. This whole time I've been soaking. Um, <laughs> peroxide into here. That's just a decorative feature of the cap. The cap screws out from underneath here. I, I some some days I wonder. I really do. <laughs> There's the troublemaker. It's not too bad shape. You can see my you can see him. Dents I put into this from screwing down through the top, down through the top. But 
hopefully that doesn't affect it any. I mean, it, in theory, it shouldn't. Um. So now to make sure that never happens again, it's going to take a little bit of cleaning. Got to get as much of that wonderful corrosion out of there as we can. I just soak the whole thing. Soak that whole thing in peroxide. Mm. Getting a little messy with the tools here. denatured alcohol in here. Yeah, it's fairly clean. Let's take a look at these threads. And there's still a little bit of corrosion in there. That's the one thing with a Q-tip is it can't quite reach down inside there. Um, Toothbrush is okay, but it's just not stiff enough really to do much. Just brushes across the top. Let's see if we can kind of pick it out. Let's get a better tool here. There we go. Really don't feel any like major build up of corrosion inside there. Let's see how the cap is doing. Ooh, look at all that bubbly. Agitated a little. Actually, here. Probably as much as the uh, peroxide is ever going to do. Yeah, 
look at those. Look at those threads. I'm just trying to think what else I could do to clean those threads up a bit. I mean, they are, they are pretty bad. Okay, so let's try a dry sponge and after that we'll try um, try something with a little more grit I find that Dry sponge sometimes just has enough texture to kind of polish and it's gentle enough on the threads that you don't destroy them. So that's the other thing we could do. We could um, fix it so good it doesn't work again, which is not what we want to do. You know, I don't even think we need to go back and uh, do anything crazy. I think we need to go a step further. I really feel like that's pretty good. Huh. So let's put the plate back on. And put batteries in it and then see if it works. Okay. Got two. Energizer 357s. These are silver oxide batteries. So they are 1.5 volts, but. The advantage with silver oxide over like alkaline or any of those others is that silver oxide discharges at a consistent rate. So even as the batteries start to die, you still get a consistent voltage. Um, with alkaline, it tends to peak as they discharge. And when it, you get a peak in your voltage, the light meter tends to not work correctly. It doesn't read accurate anyway. Right. So let's see. Can we the on position? Won't charge. Ooh, shutter fire. Every night, love to hear your voice. Not sleeping well. And I know that you should. Sure. You should know that went. All right. That's good. It's more than what we've gotten out of it before. Boy, she's slow. though so of course it's gonna be slow pick up or how do you use yeah it's been a while since I've run one oh well a lot of learning should be fun there it is it's locked right All right Really matters. That's 
all I wanna do Seems to be fully operational. All right. Well, uh, thanks for joining me on another journey. Um, you know, hopefully in the future I'll do some more of these. But uh, you know, it's it's kind of the nature of things. Is you never know what you're going to get into. You never know how it's going to go. And you know, I learned a lot. Hopefully you did too, and like I said, just uh, thanks for joining.